If you were to be put on Hillary Clinton's ticket, I know you've heard this question time and again. Uh, I can't let you go without talking about this. Wh what do you make of this when you see the former San Antonio mayor and former secretary at your department, Henry Cisneros, uh, say, say this? He says, what I'm hearing in Washington, including for people in Hillary Clinton's campaign, is that the first person on their list for vice president is Julian Castro. They don't have a second option. Uh, so I guess that's it. You've got the job. So congratulations. I doubt that. You know, uh, if, if uh, I had a dime for every amount of ex speculation that happens in D.C., you know, I think all of us would be wealthy. Um, it's, Your it budget is, would be a lot bigger. Is that it? That's right. Who wouldn't be flattered by that? But I have found in life, like I bet a lot of the folks watching out there, that the best thing to do in life is to do a great job with what's in front of you. And I'm trying to do a great job at HUD and make sure that we benefit Americans out there this weekend of Memorial Day weekend when we think about our veterans, the, fo the fact that all of us together on both sides of the aisle are committed to making a difference and getting those veterans a place to live and that it's happening. And we are going to have that glorious day uh, in the not too distant future when we can say that we have effectively ended veteran homelessness. That's what I'm focused on these days. Let me ask you one more uh, question about uh, the 2016 campaign, these emails that have been released uh, by the State Department uh, with respect to uh, Hillary Clinton and, and her time there, the, the private emails that she was using uh, to conduct business at the department. Uh, do you believe that she has answered that question appropriately and fully? Oh, I absolutely You're do. You're satisfied. Oh, I do. I mean, let's take a look at this issue of Benghazi. This thing has been studied to death by Republicans and Democrats, several committees, including in Congress, that have all said, uh, yes, of course, what happened was tragic, but Secretary Clinton was not in any way at fault. And what you have here with these emails is basically a witch hunt. And, and, you know, Congressman Gowdy, who is leading this, is very intentionally trying to manipulate this witch hunt to play politics. That's unfortunate, and it's one of the reasons that Congress has a 19% approval rating. Uh, I think that we need to focus on more substantive things. As one who hasn't spent my lifetime in D.C., I know that out there in America, they care about, are you reducing veteran homelessness? Are you providing the impetus for young people to be able to achieve their dreams? Are we making sure that, that America in this 21st century remains the undisputed land of opportunity? Not whether somebody had emails or didn't have them. Do you use a private email account? I have my government email account. Of course, I have my private email, but I have my government email. But, but that's beside the point. I think she you, has... You do government person. business on the government email account? And that's right. Private that's right. business on the private. And she's already explained that. Yeah. People want us to focus as policymakers on things that matter to their lives. They want us to make a difference in creating more opportunity out there. And, and that's just a witch hunt that is a sideshow. I think the work that, that we're doing to end veteran homelessness is a good example of something that matters. 